Good evening, everyone. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Donna Terrell. We begin with a Fox 16 investigates. There may be no place like home, but for some renters in North Little Rock right now, home is the last place they want to be. Many of them dealing with mold, water leaks, and problems with utilities. Katrin Asaf spoke to some of the folks who live at Jefferson Manor Apartments who say that this problem has actually been years in the making. Is that right? Yeah, that's right, Donna. You know, we spoke with a number of tenants, and when we were out there today, we saw a little bit of everything. We saw apartments that had what appeared to be black mold, water leaks, as well as utilities that weren't working. Uh, tenants say some have been there only a couple of months and have been facing issues. Others have been there for years, and they say nothing's been done. Now, Darlene Lewis has lived here for six months. She initially was placed in an apartment that had water leaking from nearby units, which she says has started to grow black mold behind the walls. After months of dealing with health issues and asking for something to be done, Lewis says she asked management to move her next door, or rather management moved her to the apartment next door, only to find another water leak. It's not just her home, though. At least two other tenants we spoke with who didn't want to reveal their identity said they found black mold mold and water in their units. One told us that they have no air conditioning and another says that his entire building has been without gas and has been that way for about two weeks. Lewis says it's her right to feel safe and comfortable where she lives and enough is enough. I hope they understand that we're not going to sit still for it. Now, we asked the manager on duty for comment, but she declined. Lewis says management has recently changed, but even with the leaks, her rent has stayed steady at around $875 a month. Now, she says she also knows of a couple of other people who believe they have gotten ill from their apartments as well as one who was a child. Now, we did reach out to the North Little Rock Code Enforcement Office. They told me that they are aware of the issues with the apartments, and they've been out there a number of times over the years. They say there is an officer who was looking into that, and and because management has just recently changed, they're starting to work through some of these problems. And code enforcement said that they are seeing progress, but because of the huge load of complaints, they are slowly working their way through them. She did mention they also got some more complaints just this morning. Of course, we're going to continue to follow this story and keep you updated as it develops. Reporting in North Little Rock, Katrin Asaf, back to you.